All right, welcome back to OD5. All right, so the supplies you're gonna need for this job basically are scissors, as you can see here. You're also gonna need some monofilament line. You see, I have some line that um, is probably happy to be getting a second life here. And of course, you just gonna need a little bit of patience because uh, basically this is a tedious little job. And um, you know, just make the best of it. Have fun. Try to try to enjoy yourself. All right. So with this. I'm basically going to be cutting a little piece like that and I'm coming here into my hole because we established there's my hole there, there's my hand through the hole and basically here we are again making sure that we have two good pieces of the net here weaving through and we're just basically we're, we're tying a square knot nothing fancy about it Square knot nice and tight. And there you have it. So I do that. Clip off my excess. Try to make the net not be snagging on itself. Alright, we're gonna do it again. Alright, so off of our spool. Another little repair stitch. Let the thread for a fishing line. into our net here again making sure that we have a good, a good piece on either side that's going to be able to hold our stitch. Alright, we're just weaving through. Alright. Pull it down. to the fish. Alright, so if you see if you look real close right here, you can see that's where I did my repair. Alright, so just a little square notch right along my little hole there. And of course, as you fade out from the net here, and see the bigger picture, you can see that it's pretty much unnoticeable. So in the big scheme of things, like I said, if you get a hole in your net, it's not the end of the world. A pair of scissors, some monofilament line, a little patience, and you can get it done. 